All right, so to stretch your own canvas, you're gonna need a couple supplies. Um, so depending on what you're doing, uh, you may, um, if you already have your frame, then basically you just need to, a, sta a staple remover to remove the staples. Take off that painting. You want to roll it with the painting on the outside rolled and not too tight so that like it doesn't you know, break or whatever. But you also want to make sure that your painting has already cured if you were going to take it off the frame so that you can keep it forever. Um, if you decide later, you can frame it. Uh, if not, you can just have it for eternity. Um, this also is super helpful for removing the staples because um, they don't just come up. Some of it is just like one side comes off and the other one is not. So you just kind of pull it. have to pull it. Um, <clears throat> the tape is kind of a, a lupe specialty, but you might find this useful as well. Um, so this one um, stretches the canvas. Let me show you do I have any fabric to be stretched I don't have anything next to me because I left the, the other stuff over there so um let's see okay so let's pretend this shirt is the canvas so you will grab it like so and then it just pulls see how like it pulls it won't let go of the fabric so uh so this is perfect for someone who sees so this is perfect not not so much for me because i need to feel the fabric no more or less where to put the staple and i can only do that with my fingers um and then lastly um if your canvas is not as tight as you want it then you can always add water also this is water not hairspray <laughs> At, I ordered a bunch of canvases from a certain Arturama and some of them became damaged. Like this one has like um, a little hole right here. Actually, she has three holes right there. Others were like much more damaged, but even this damage here, if I were to like pour on it, um, it wouldn't be tight enough. I don't think I can get it tight enough so that this doesn't become an issue. I think um, the paint would flow here and I'll we'll pull there and probably not a good idea. And so I had, um, in that order, I had, oh gosh, um, like 12 um, canvases that came that way and I have, um, different sizes like i ordered 10 by 20s 12s by 24s um, 20 by 20s um 24 by 32 or 36 anyways yeah so different sizes had different issues and that sort of thing so i found myself in the regrettable um situation where I needed to do something like I could just you know ignore them but um I decided to restretch the canvases and so the way I do it is basically and it's a little hard for me because I can't see so um I've like dinged myself many times but okay so see I I take off the staple and then um and I tried to go in in the middle. All right, so when um, it's at this state, then all I need to do basically is just, oops, the other players are better for this. And then I, I make sure that I collect all those staples in one space because when you step on them, it would hurt. So once I, I finish pulling out all the staples, I gingerly kind of go around the frame 
um, and I say gingerly because you don't want any blisters or not no blisters <laughs> splinters so um, just making sure that all the staples are gone okay so now we're on to the next step so right, so you start off by laying out your material wherever you find space that is um, big enough to do this and then you more or less kind of move your frame so that like you're only gonna cut as much as you're gonna use so yeah no way no no sense in like wasting any of it so yeah so the then once I do this, then I'll begin to cut like so. All the way around. All right, so here's the frame and the fabric. So I did it on the, um, on the bed for the guest bedroom. <laughs> Cause this one's always clean and always uncluttered. So, um, so yeah, so this is the rough cut. Um, it's a little, you know, it's not super straight, but you know, my issues, I think it's pretty good. Um, and now let me show you the next step. All right. So you always want to make sure you put any of staples cause this takes a lot of staples. Then you just push it in until it snaps into place. <coughs> that was a little dusty. We do live in the desert, lots of sandstorms. Okay, so, um, sorry. So, like I said, I kind of do like a heck, an adjustment for my issues. So, um, what I do is I, I lightly tape my, um, my canvas to the frame just so that stays where I need it to be when I try to find it. Okay, so then I start off with like, uh, let me see, uh, can you see this? Let me see. So it's on the corner, so I, not the corner, the middle. So I start in the middle of like, I prefer the long side to be like horizontal so um, the vertical um, frame or wood uh, is the one where I start off with and it's like I said I'm sort of in the middle so I'm gonna and so I've actually punctured my finger by trying to do this so I don't know how much I'm saving myself this might be so once I did that and see um I don't know if you, let, me, let me see if I can take you so it's not like completely in because I want to be able to take them off easily next time it's enough in to keep it there but not like so in that I can't take it off so then I do then the opposite opposite side and I basically tug at it. So now I take off the tape a bit and then t tug at it so that it's, you know, more or less, there's not a lot of give to it, right? I mean, it's not like, you know, totally like, oh my gosh, it's so tight, but it's tight enough. Um, so again, I pull it and then, um, Again, this is just the beginning part, so it's not like super tight. Okay, and then um, sometimes I do one closer to it and then another one. Again, make sure you're, you're not like gonna staple your finger. Okay, so that's pretty good. So then I go to the starting side, right? And then I also tape, not tape, staple 
sorry. Uh, close to, oops. Okay. And then another one on the other side. So there's no like right and wrong way of doing it. It's just whatever works for you, right? So I don't know if you've ever done upholstery. I've actually have. So more or less, that's kind of what you're now going to do is basically wrap the whole canvas, stapling it. Um, so, well, after this, I would go here to the top. I don't know if you can see it. Pull it. And staple. Where's my staple? Again, and the tape kind of helps me for this step because um, there's tons of contrast here. So, uh, so okay, that's perfect. And then I go on the opposite side. And then this one, I don't need the tape. I just, I mean, the tape helps me figure out more or less what the other wood is because it is a little bit light. And chips like, so I, you know, tighten it as much as I can without like being Wonder Woman or whatever. So then I would then do a couple more here on both sides and then a couple more on this side. And then again on each side, on both, all the sides until I get to the corner. I'm gonna continue to do that and then I'll bring you back so you can see where I'm at. So we also wanna, um, do when you're doing this on a frame that um you're basically just reusing the frame of an old canvas is you want to make sure that your corners are squared because it can go like this i don't know if you can tell see um so i don't have my little squaring thing but what i do is basically i just push both sides equally down um the other part is on my on my uh, thighs or my knees yeah they're on my knees and uh, so I just kind of equally push down and towards the center and that more or less gives me a corner but someone who sees probably you want to do be more specific about that I figure this is good enough for me and it's not like I deserve less because I'm blind or visually impaired this is this is as much as i can do so i have to be okay with that so here's the final product it's an exceptional canvas if i do say so myself so thanks for watching um i hope you take a chance and uh, stretch your own canvas be a lot less expensive then you can also control if you want you know so the gallery wrap thickness then you can control that so all right well thanks for watching see you the next time